I'm trying to fit as much as I can in the day. And in order to fit as much as you can in the day, you need to understand how each hour of the day works. What's the best use of that hour? And how can I capitalize on that? So my work day starts at 8 a.m. I am at my desk with the dialer calling at 8 a.m. And in order to do that at my very best, I need to make sure my mental and physical is completely ready and at its peak performance. So in order to do that, you have to wake up a little earlier. So um, admittedly, I don't always wake up at five. Sometimes I wake up a little later, but ideal schedule is I wake up at 5 a.m. I quickly get some simple carbs into my body in the form of honey and a fruit. And I am at the gym by around 5.30. I do an hour long weightlifting workout. And then I'm home around 6.30 and I get ready. Takes about 30 minutes. And now this is really important. There's a buffer time where I'm making my uh, espresso, my cup of espresso. I'm uh, drinking my water with some salt, some real salt. The salt allows you to actually soak in the water into your cells. So that's every single, every single morning I do that. Get my espresso water. And then at 7.30, is the breakfast club it's a high octane role play every single morning it, it a quick plug the breakfast club is responsible for our new agents getting like any from anywhere from two to five new listings a month if you want to be a part of this role play just dm me on instagram at mr aaron noon and i can send you the link you can check it out so breakfast club for 30 minutes I'm ready to go. Okay, so by 8 a.m., I have exercised my body. I am fully awake and alert. I am showered up. I'm feeling good. I'm caffeinated. I'm hydrated. I have practiced my scripts. Ask yourself how you wake up and prepare yourself before you're making your calls or whatever you're doing. Ask yourself how you're prepared and compare that to an agent like me who's doing all this in the morning. Who's going to have a better outcome in the day? So the next segment of my day is four hours long and it's outbound prospecting. And what that means is you are making efforts to reach out to people uh, that are typically homeowners and are trying to get either set an appointment or fill up your database with new leads. And without this segment of your day, without outbound prospecting in your day, your business won't grow. You need this. You need this every day. The moment you stop generating leads is the, is the moment that your business starts to decline, or at least you'll see the results of not outbound prospecting about a year out. And it's going to start to hurt. It's going to start to hurt. So you never want to not do this. Every day from 8 to 12, I'm outbound prospecting on my Zoom with my agents. Um, it's a form of accountability and I'm usually dialing either expireds or I'm circle prospecting, trying to find uh, one of my buyers, a seller to connect them directly to. If you actually want a cold call with me every single day on Zoom, um, DM me on Instagram the word Zoom and I'll invite you into my Facebook group and you're, you'll have my Zoom link and you can prospect with me. Here's something very important. From 8 to 12, nothing is scheduled in that time. I got no appointments. I have no reason to leave my chair except for uh, refilling my water, refilling my cu espresso cup, or going to the bathroom. Those are the only reasons why my butt gets off of my chair from 8 to 12. Aside from that, nothing else gets me off of my chair from 8 to to 12. And if you can develop that discipline, that's going to take you pretty far. So again, I don't get out of my chair from 8 to 12. No one schedules anything during 8 to 12. Then I have my lunch. <clears throat> and during this time, I'm actually um, role playing with my uh, partner, 
So while I'm cooking and eating, I'm role playing my scripts, objection handling, to make sure my conversion rate is as highest as possible. Next is the second segment of my day, which is follow-ups and appointments. And I'm gonna show you how to do this right. So if you don't have any appointments scheduled at this time, all the only thing you should be doing is following up. And if you don't have enough leads to follow up, you should be outbound prospecting. It's a cycle. If you don't go, if you don't have an appointment to go on, you need to be setting an appointment by following up. And if you've run out of leads to follow up with, you should be outbound prospecting. I aim to set all my appointments after three, and I try to hit my appointments all in a row within this time. Because if I have an appointment, if I have an appointment at one, and then an appointment at four, uh, you need to think about how, think about how, think about what it takes to leave your house. When you're leaving your house for an appointment, you have to wrap up whatever you're doing in a nice spot to where you can resume later. Then you have to go, uh, go get dressed. You have to be like, mm, what am I gonna wear? Uh, what jacket should I wear? Is it cold outside? Who am I gonna meet? How should I be dressing? Uh, how does my hair look? Uh, do I need to brush my teeth? How's my breath? Okay, what do I need to bring? I gotta bring that, I gotta bring this. Okay, where are my keys? Okay, there are my keys, my phone, uh, it's not charged. Um, oh, I'm thirsty, I gotta go get some. Uh, maybe I should fill out my water bottle. To leave your house, it takes 10 to 20 minutes. You basically have to waste about 15 to 20 minutes every time you leave your house. And if you have two appointments, you have, you have removed this portion of your day and then this portion of your day. You just basically wasted almost an hour to get to two inconveniently scheduled appointment times. And then when you come back home, you're like, oh man, that was exhausting. I'm thirsty. So you go get some water, you put down your stuff, um, go to your closet, you put away your jacket, uh, you change into something more comfortable. Maybe you sit on your couch and you're like, oh man, that was tiring. I'm gonna eat a snack. Um, you go get a snack and then uh, maybe you, you take care of things around the house um, okay, now it's time to get back to work. So now you're in your office and now you're looking around like reminding yourself, where was I previously? What do I need to do? Uh, maybe you'll open up some emails uh, to dink around. You're, op you're replying to some messages and you're like, okay, well, what was I doing when I, before I left? That entire thing takes like 20, 25 minutes of getting back home and getting us situated back into work and getting entering back into flow mode into your work. That takes like 30 minutes. So here is, uh, that's another block of time wasted. And you're gonna waste another 30 minutes here. So now we have effectively wasted two hours of your day to get ready for each appointment and get back into the mindset of work after the appointment. And now you're left with an hour of work. Um, hopefully it's efficient and uh, you can fit in work over here. But because you scheduled two appointments like this, you have wasted um, time before and after each appointment. To avoid that dumb shit, you stack appointments together side by side. So at the latest part of your day, ideally. ideally. It doesn't always work like this. So now if you structure it like this, you have three straight hours. It's a clean three straight hours of focus into your follow-up. And then you go on appointment one and then appointment two, and then you come back. That's so much more cleaner. It's so much more productive. It's so, it's so much more straight lined uh, to have three uninterrupted hours of follow-up and then two appointments compared to having to go on an appointment at one and then you schedule an appointment here and then you have a and then you have a third appointment here if you do it this way you are doing nothing really productive during this time and this time and I can't say you're not doing anything productive but 
your chances of having a, a nice productive session of whatever is diminished when you have to switch back and forth from different things three times, actually five times. One, two, three, four, five. That's not a clean use of your mental space. So ideally, if you have three appointments, this is what your appointments stacked up would look like because then you have two clean hours of follow-up. Next, you got dinner. Gotta be eating. Oh, and by the way, I don't eat breakfast. The only thing that I eat in the morning is uh, coffee and my honey at the beginning of the day to fuel my workout. I like to stay fasted because my mind stays sharp and clear during my beginning portion of the day. So I aim to go to bed at nine. Not always successful at that, but that's the goal. And so for the out for the two hours before that, I focus on doing tasks that's going to help me expand. I'm focused on what I can do to scale. And typically this the things to do, the things you can do to scale your efforts aren't things that you should be doing midday. Because if you're busy writing emails, if you're making social media content, if you're um, if you're like writing letters, if you're doing that stuff, if you're working on your business during prospecting hours, you're losing time in the day to be talking to people. If you're like making digital marketing, if you're like designing stuff, if you're writing out emails, if you're uh, like an, uh, if you're like creating a, a an email sequence to drip onto your leads, those are stuff you could be working at night when people are asleep and you're not talking to them. Don't crowd your working hours where people are awake and you can talk to them. Don't crowd those hours with dumb shit of writing letters. You can do that here. What I've been personally doing here is I've been creating a, a manual or course for my agents to watch. This is when I'll make my YouTube videos. Today is an exception because I set a buyer point. I, I bet I set a showing for my growth focus hours and I wanted to make another YouTube video and I knew I wouldn't be able to do it at this time. So I'm doing it during my lunch. I'm trying to fit as much as I can in the day. And in order to fit as much as you can in the day, you need to understand how each hour of the day works What's the best use of that hour and how can I how can I capitalize on that? This is typically when I'll be working on like an email sequence for drip campaigns, working on setting up systems to automate things. All that stuff to work on my business is at this time. I don't use this time during my prospecting or following up or appointment hours. This is when I reflect, so I journal a lot. I'm able to pinpoint what I was doing at a certain day um, five years ago. And I could take a look at where my mindset was at, what my goals were at that time. I've made a lot of mistakes this last year. It set me back in my business. And um, thankfully, I journaled everything so I can take I can take a look at what I did wrong. And, uh, and that, now I know exactly what to do. So I, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't reflect. So this is the time I spend journaling and then you go to bed. For the weekends, this is how I schedule my weekends. On Saturdays, depends on what, uh, what, day I go to church, what time I go to church on um, Sundays. But ideally, this is how you schedule your open houses for the weekend. From 11 to 1, you have a, a open house on Saturday and Sunday, and then 2 to 4 on Saturday and Sunday. I typically pick two houses to do open houses on. So on house 1, I'll fill up 11 to 1 on Saturday and Sunday. So Saturday and Sunday, I, I do the same house both days at the same time. And then for house number 2, I put it in the second slot on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm doing... Two houses, two times. Um, sometimes one of those houses won't be available um, for a second day. So that means I need to pick a third house to fill in that empty slot. But that's how I structure my open houses on the weekends. So that's my schedule. 
I believe that this is the best way to go about your day as a real estate agent. And um, if you think there's anything differently that I can be doing with my time, let me know in the comments below. Actually, if you made it to this point, I want to know who you are because you're my favorite person in the world and I want to know who makes it to the end of my videos. When I make these videos, I'm like, man, who's even going to watch this? Is everyone, and is anyone going to find this valuable? I always have these questions in my head. Um, so so I, show me that you made it to this point. I want to know who you are. In the comments down below, say, wow, that was a great schedule. So I know who you are. So I'll, so I'll know who made it to this point. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching. Um, I really do appreciate you watching. I haven't been responding to my comments, but I've been, I, I've started to respond to my comments um, and I'll be better about that. So thank you for watching. Ask me any questions you'd like in the comments and um, DM me on Instagram at Mr. Aaron Yoon if you want to join the Breakfast Club. DM me the word Breakfast Club. If you want to prospect with me for four hours straight, DM me the word Zoom. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.